Hey y'all, what's going on? Redneck Ruff here, and welcome today. Um, this is going to be a bit of a different video. I'm going to teach you all how to use PK Hex because I'm looking to do some egg locks here in the future. So this is how we're going to gen the eggs and other Pokemon, things like that. If you want to gen mods for free-for-alls, even things like that, I'm going to teach you how to do that. So, first off, you got to pick what Pokemon you want, which just to teach you how to gen a basic Pokemon, we're going to start off with Buzzwool since I've already got it pulled up, right? Then you're going to give it its nickname, which, uh, I don't know, Bugsy, that works. You'll see it checks nickname. If you want it to be shiny, you click this star here and that makes it shiny. You see the red star there. Now obviously, if you don't want it shiny but you've already clicked that, then you just click re-roll and it changes the ID back. Here's where you set your level. So we're going to say level 100 because we're wanting to use this in a free-for-all. And it's a physical Pokemon, so we pick an item in nature, uh, say, Choice Band, because that's the item you want it to have. Friendship. Uh, average is 70. Zero would be perfect for frustration. 255 is good for return. Uh, then you pick its ability, which is Beast Boost. That's the only one it gets. Language is English. Now, if you're making a Pokemon for an egg lock, you'll check this right here, and it'll make it an egg. And then you'll set your hatch counter, which hatch counter of one means it'll hatch really quickly. Next, you actually pick your country. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and click United States, which is clear down here at the bottom. I'll scroll it up a little bit. Uh, Subregion for me is West Virginia. And then 3DS region is the Americas. That's what it is for me. It depends on where you are for what your settings are. Next, we move on to our Met location. Our origin game is going to be Pokemon Sun, because that's what I am playing. And now let's go ahead and move on to Serebii, because this is going to help us out. Because you can actually catch Buzzwool in Sun, whereas if you're in Moon, you have to trade it from Sun, so the origin game does have to be Sun. So we're going to get the details on that, which it is... Melee Melee Meadow, roaming in the grass, and its level is 65. So, we're going to go back to PK Hex. That location, we're going to scroll down to Melee Melee Meadow. And our Met level is going to be 65. And then this is where you pick what ball it is also, which uh, most often is a Beast Ball. Which, where is that on the list? Beast Ball right there. Level 65. Then you pick your date, which I don't know why it's so screwed up here. We're going to go back to 2017 because you got to have a legal date. And let's say we met this because it's September 10th right now. So let's go back to August and say 23rd. Now, right here, there's a red triangle. If you click that, it still tells you what's wrong. Uh, invalid move should have at least three IVs that are 31 and the ability mismatch for encounter. Huh. Right, this next tab is your stats tab, which is where you actually set all your IVs and EVs. If you hold control and click randomize IVs, it sets them all to 31, which then you see it's HP and attack and defense or the roof, honestly. So once you've done that, if you want to say, set it for hidden power ice, right? You can scroll down and click that, and it automatically adjusts your IVs for you. And then you can add in your uh, EVs, which can have a max total of 510. So that is two of them at 252, and then the last one can have six. Or you can do the math differently and have it to somewhere else. I like to do 252 attack, then 129 defense and special defense. And that gives you a perfect 510, as you can see it's green there now. Attacks. Uh, if you click here, let's see. Move one isn't in a valid move, so we're going to go back to Serebii, where we click back tab, and it shows us what moves this thing learns upon level up. It can learn by TM, and then also Z moves it can use too. We're just going to go with three level up moves here. Say Focus Punch, Superpower, Dynamic Punch, and then a TM. So Dynamic Punch, Superpower, Focus Punch. Then we'll pull this up right over top. Dynamic Punch. Focus Punch. 
superpower. And let's see, what's our last move we want? We're gonna go ahead and get bulk up because he's a bulky boy. So we click bulk up. Boom, there we've got ourselves our move set. So if you click here, ability mismatch is the only other problem. So we go back here, then if we just set that to ability two. Nope. Beasts are a little bit different, though. They're a little tougher to catch. But that's just something that's bugging out, so that the Ultra Beasts are going to be a little different, obviously. But to just move on from that, let's go ahead and uh, put that and reopen. That way we can just start off with a fresh slate. Because I'm going to show you guys how to make an egg now, save for an egg block. So we're going to start off with a Teddy Ursa because Ursa Ring obviously is my mascot, right? And somebody is messaging the fuck out of me right now. I'm going to check my phone. Alright, I'm going to put my phone on airplane mode. That way nobody can bother me. Mr. Cool Shallow talking to you right now if you're watching this. So nickname for my Teddy Ursa, which also if you click right there you can change the gender between male and female as if it is a gendered Pokemon, so Teddy Ursa, my favorite name for it is Aka Kabuto, because that's an ancient Japanese name from a, of a bear from folklore. And I want this thing obviously to have an adamant nature because it is a strong physical attacker. I'm going to give this, which you can give the eggs items and in an egg log, you just have to pull the item off the egg before you actually hatch it. So, let's say I want this to have, I don't know, just a nugget. Give me some money when I hatch it, right? Friendship zero, and then you pick its ability, which is pick up, quick feet, or honey gather. Which then, once it evolves, will become guts instead of pick up. You also have quick feet, and then honey gather as options. I like quick feet myself. I like being a little fast boy. I'm making an, an egg. Its hatch counter is one, obviously, because I want to hatch it fast. Set the region and all that. So we're going to scroll down. United States. West Virginia. Americas. Origin game is going to be sun for this. Met location. Uh, nursery helpers. Because it is an egg, still. And then you go back and pick your date again. So 2017, September 10th. That's the current date. Stats. Uh, this is going to be an all physical mod, so I don't need a hidden power change. So I'm going to have it give perfect IVs. No EVs, though. Because I'm going to earn those naturally for the game. It's attacks, and since it's an egg, if you click down here. Back to attacks, and that's when we scroll through here. It normally comes out with fling, covered scratch, baby doll eyes, lick, and fake tears. That's normal moves. And then there's also all the egg moves here: belly drum, chip away, close combat, all those there where my mouse is. Oh, you guys can't really see that, can you? Uh, Justice here. Didn't really think it's through that much, did I? See, so yeah, you can see the egg moves here, belly drum, chip away, close combat, all that. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this up. I'm going to go ahead and give it, uh, say, lick is one I know it always has. Scratch. Then we're going to give it, uh, say, crunch and play rough. So 
that's our four moves there. And we just do those again down here. Lick. Scratch. Crunch. Play rough. It is an egg, so it doesn't have the relearn moves, obviously. Don't know why all these are saying highlighted. But it's bugging me. So we're going to go back here, and we're going to go ahead, and we're going to say Link Trade Egg. Nope. Still not working. Again, eggs are a little tricky. They don't need to be 100% perfect, though, because they're not being traded to me. You guys are going to go to file. So say this is the final version of the egg. It's legal enough. Also, you can say your original trainer in here, trainer ID, secret ID, whatever you want those numbers to be. Say you want to say your original trainer to be Redneck, right? That's pretty good. So then you go to file, save Pokemon. It gives you a place. This is where I saved Pokemon before. So we're going to name this uh, just Teddy Versa. Which, when you guys send me the eggs, I'd rather you just have the nickname only on there. So, like, mine would just say... Akabuto. So we'll save that. And then there's one more example of some things that can go wrong with eggs. We're going to open this one right here from the Aquatic Charizard. He's trying to work on one of his. And you can see here, it's a level 100 Charizard, Mild Nature. Friendship's at 100, normal form, it's got Blaze for its ability. No sub-region set, but you can always pick that. Then you go to Met, Nursery Helpers, which this is not valid. You have to meet it at level 1 because you met it as an egg. And then also it has to have a location because if you click here, you can't hatch an egg at the Met location. So you go on down, and then let's go ahead and say he met it at uh, Lush... It had, he hatched it at the Lush Jungle. And it came out as a little Charmander, and he grew it all the way up to Char Charizard. That's how it goes. And then the stats, you can see, perfect IVs. He's got the ZV spread there. He's got his attacks, Earthquake, Fire Blast, Dragon Dance, Flamethrower, his Egg Move, Scratch, Growl, D-Dance. And then he didn't change anything on his OT. But that's how he would fix his Pokemon. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to save that for him. There we go. And then also... If we're doing older Gen games, say I'm doing uh, Gen 4 or something for a uh, egg lock, right? Then you go into PokeGen is another program. I'll leave links to both of these programs down in the description, PK Hex and PokeGen. First thing you want to do with PokeGen is you want to go to Options, and then you set your target game, which you can choose from Diamond and Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul, Silver, Black and White, Black 2, White 2. I'm actually getting ready to do a Storm Silver Egg Lock, which is based on Soul Silver and Heart Gold. So you click Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Uh, PID, don't really know, need to worry about. You pick your Pokemon. So let's say you want to give me uh, Murkrow, right? Say your nickname, but you can even do Japanese if you want to. We're not going to do that, though. The nickname is actually going to be... Pro Boy, for whatever reason. I don't know. It's just the first thing to keep in mind. It's going to be level 1. Say you want to give it a modest nature. Held item. Be whatever. We're just going to go and pick uh, Armor Fossil. Say you're giving a second encounter, right? Having a zero ability which then you need to go back to Cerebi or somewhere, maybe Bulbapedia. I just prefer Cerebi. Right? Try not to be too boring with all this. So you pick Murkrow. Because it's a Gen 4 game, you want to go to the Gen 4 decks. And then you look at all its abilities and things like that. So its abilities are Insomnia or Super Luck. So we're going to say Super Luck. No different form, it's US. Shiny Leaf, none, it's male. Uh, it's an egg. 
if it's shiny or not. Then you go to Met. So if it's an egg, yeah, you use that. Gain heart gold, or silver, location. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much because I am importing the eggs via file. It's a Saffron City, I don't care. Pick your ball, which we're going to go with a luxury ball for this one. It's going to be level one. Caught in the building. Uh, no. A little weird on this, but it doesn't really matter too much. Is this one you actually have to do all the IVs manually, so we're going to do one. And I'm not going to mess with the EVs any again, because if you hold control and hit randomize IVs, it just actually does randomize them completely, like that. So then you go to the attacks, it's egg moves, obviously basic level of moves are Peck and Astonish. And then we're going to pick out two egg moves from down here for it. Which I'd say Icy Wind and Heat Wave are going to be good. And, and then you say your original trainer information if you want to. So you set your ID, male or female, original trainer. Which is always five digits. Now you can exceed six five five three five. Still can I exceed six five five three five? For eight, red original trainer name is gonna be Redneck for me. You can also give it any markers if you want, circle, heart, triangle, all that. And then you just go to file. And then save the Pokemon. And that should be it. Just you save it wherever you want to. And then you will provide the email address that's on screen right now. And that's going to show you where to send eggs to for egg locks at any time in the future. Just make sure you put in the title what egg lock it is for. Alright, so that is your tutorial for PK Hex P Pokegen. I mean, it's not 100% fleshed out. I'm not a master of the, these programs by any means, but I'm teaching you how to use them to the best of my ability. Okay? So, until next time, guys, I am Redneck Rough. Get her done.